My name is Michael Cross, and you are watching News, How To's, and Product Reviews. Email me questions and comments to Michael37064 at gmail.com. In this episode, we're gonna we're gonna work on two things. Uh, we're gonna plant the crown of the pineapple, and this time we're gonna plant it in water. Uh, I know you see a lot of times they plant it in soil. In this case, we're gonna plant it in a in a glass of water, and that way we can watch the roots as they stretch out and get longer. And then we'll plant it in soil. So we'll do another uh, segment after this one where we're going to take it out of the glass of water and then we'll put it in some soil and so the first the first part will be to do the crown second part will be to uh, take a take the pineapple out without having to cut the sides apart and we're going to use these tools that I picked up at a big box store and uh, we'll show you another way of extracting the, the fruit so um, this is one uh, I checked and you can see how the middle came out which I understand means that it's ripe um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to grab it nice and tight so that way it doesn't slip in our hands and then we're going to rotate it and then you can hear it and it comes right off from the top. So then we're going to set this aside and then we'll uh, come back to that later. And in this part, we're going to peel back a few of the leaves and get down to some of those roots. And then we'll place it in a jar of water. And one of the things that I noticed about pineapples is that uh, pineapples, they do not ripen after they're picked. So at that point, they're going to stop. Uh, and then see how we're just gently pulling these down. And we want to make sure that we don't take any of those roots with us as we peel it back. about pineapples is is that a pineapple is ripe if one of the top leaves uh, can be pulled out fairly easy like you saw on that one I did and so we're just gonna kind of work our way around and you can start to see some of these and so we're just gonna gently Pull some of these off and work our way around. Being careful not to disturb any roots that are in between the leaves. Another thing about pineapples is, is um, uh, pineapple crowns were placed outside Caribbean homes as a symbol of hospitality. And so you may have seen people put pineapple symbols on their barn or different places. Maybe they'll have a pineapple flag in their flower garden. And it's a sign of hospitality. And so we're going to peel back a few more of these leaves. I know it's not not leaving much of left, but that's okay. I'm going to do one more. And that 
that's it. And so you can see some of these roots right here. Okay? And that looks pretty good. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this glass and I'm going to... I, I, I like to use purified water from the grocery store um, instead of using my tap water because of the chlorine that's involved in it. And so uh, this way I don't have all those other chemicals in there. And we're going to put this a little bit more in there because it's going to evaporate fairly fast. Actually, I guess I spilled some of it out, huh? Okay, so we're just going to set this aside. And actually, we have a few paper towels and we'll, uh, we'll get this up. And then we'll set this aside and we'll come back to that later and we'll see just exactly how and how those roots are growing and I'm going to set this aside and then what we'll do is we'll start working on taking the middle right out of this pineapple pineapple is a great a great snack for when you're watching TV and and you just want something to nibble on. It's a great source of vitamin C. Okay. And so, uh, pineapples naturally flower uh, only once a year. There's another fact for you. And so what I'm gonna do is, is I'm just gonna cut the top off of this. Okay. And you can see inside that looks nice. Mmm, smells good too. And then we're going to set that knife aside. We won't be needing it anymore. Okay. And this is what I picked up at the store. I think I actually picked this one up at the grocery store. Uh, my first one that I picked up, I picked this one up at a big box store. And it, it worked great. I've already used it. And, but I made the mistake of putting it in the dishwasher and guess what? The heat from the water made this shrink. So now I can't get it back together. So when I purchased my next one, I made sure that it said on the package that it was microwave safe. Okay? A um, little bit difference between the two is this actually has a ratchet. This one does not. Uh, but such a minor detail it really didn't matter um, it did a great job and what I'm going to do is is on the end of this you can see there's little cutting teeth like a saw and then there's actually some little teeth on the side of this like a saw and what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to you can see in the center there's actually a, a core and you might be able to see it a little bit better on this but right in the center is the core and so I want to cut that core out with this as well so these outside blades are going to cut the outside this one's going to cut it in layers and then uh, and so one of the things that comes along with this is a metering system and so you can uh, line it up and so it's saying that if I went all the way through it I'd be at number three so I'm going to stop at about a number two because I don't want to go all the way through and so so I've got it lined up and I'm going to turn it you see all that juice come flying out I know you can't smell it, but I can, and it smells good. And so I'm going to run it down, and it, it's actually screwed itself in, so I don't have to put a lot of force in there. I put just a little bit, and I can actually feel it with my hand, too. And so I'm just going to keep going deeper and deeper, and I'm going to go a little bit deeper. right to there okay 
And so now I'm at this point, and so I'm gonna gently pull up and lift it right out. And, I, and I'm giving a little bit of a turn as I come out just to make it a little bit easier to come out. And so you can see it just as if it were in the can. Um, in the center, we have the core still remaining and it's hollowed out and I'm not sure if you can see it or not but there's actually some juice still left in there so it, it makes a nice look so I could probably pop this out and throw a frozen uh, pina colada in there and put an umbrella in there and we got a drink already we got a boat drink so I'm going to set this aside I'll set it right here in the sink clean up my mess just a little bit so we can finish Just to get this cleaned up a little bit. And pineapples grow slowly. It, it, it can take up to two years to reach the full size. One of the things that I did in the past, because it seemed like my pineapple would never flower. And I had actually read where if you, if you were to slip a paper bag over it and put an apple inside, that the apple, you know how apples will ferment a little bit and you can smell those apples? And that's actually what it does and it, it, it excites the pineapple to the point where it'll flower. And sure enough it worked. Okay, so we're just going to clean this up just a little bit and then we'll finish our next step, which is... Uh, what we can do is we're going to place it right inside this and so I, by pushing the two buttons I can take the handle right off uh, so to kind of wrap things up I want to go over what we covered today we discussed how to take the crown off a of pineapple and place it in water as opposed to placing it right into a pot of soil. And then what we'll do is we'll come back uh, in a week to two weeks and we'll see how long the roots are and then we'll transplant it into some soil and put it out on the patio to grow. Uh, we also talked about how to use a uh, pineapple extractor and, and this was the one that I purchased from a grocery store. And this is the one that I purchased from a big box store. So we have a couple options there. And then what we did was we also showed how we could take it right out of the pineapple, just like this, leave in the core, and then pop it right into our Tupperware bowl where we're actually able to put it right in the refrigerator from this point and we have some easy snacks for when we watch TV so until next time my name is Michael and you've been watching news how to's and product reviews